Hey everybody, Casey Klaus here and a big surprise. I love scuba diving. And when I'm not underwater, I like talking about scuba diving. You know, I'll find myself in a conversation with someone who's got a level of interest in becoming a diver and one of the first questions they ask me is, how much does it cost? You know, that's a tough answer to give because there are a lot of variables. But let me try to give you a general idea, a ballpark of what you should plan on spending to become a scuba diver. You know, the first thing you're going to want to do is find yourself a good local dive store. These are the people that are going to train you and they're going to care for you in your process of diving. You know, I live on the border of Illinois and Wisconsin and uh, if you're in this area, I recommend checking out Toucan Dive. It's not a good local dive store. It's a great local dive store. It's my dive store and I love it here because they take great care of me and they're good people. You're going to want to find this local dive store of yours and you're going to want to sign up for an open water certification class. That class is going to cost you somewhere between three and five hundred dollars. But here's what you get for it. You get properly trained to dive safely. That seems like a good deal. Safety for five hundred bucks? That's yeah, a no-brainer. <laughs> you know what? Here's, uh, here's what the class entails. They're going to give you a login to, to, to sign up on a website and, and to, to, to do some reading, to watch some videos, and to take some quizzes. And that website is going to guide you through the steps and, and the knowledge base of diving safely. What you need to know and what you need to be able to do underwater to be a safe diver. You're then going to meet with an instructor, and it's probably going to be in something of a classroom setting, but they're going to go over that information with you again because they want to be confident that you can dive safely before they let you in the water. At that point, you're going to do what's called a closed water dive. There's actually a few of them. Here's where you're going to go into a swimming pool. It's a safe place, right? If you get uncomfortable, just stand up. But here they're going to go over the skill sets that you need to be able to demonstrate. And they're going to watch you closely as you do and, and they're going to make sure that you're able to do comfortably and confidently what you need to do to be a safe diver. When your instructor is confident of this, they're going to then advance you into the open water dives. This is probably going to take place at a lake or maybe in the ocean. But here is a, a place where you're going to have deeper depths. Uh, it, the visibility may not be as good. The temperature may not be as comfortable. And again, you're going to have to demonstrate the skills that you need to know to dive safely. That $300 to $500 price tag, it, it gets you the online course. It gets you the time with the instructor. It gets you the rental gear that you're going to need to do the open and closed water dives. And it's going to get you into the pool. There may be a, a bit of an extra cost to get into the lake or to get on the boat to ride out to where you're doing your open water dives, but that's region specific and I, I can't tell you what that's going to cost. Most dive stores are going to require that you buy a few pieces of gear to own and, uh, and, and bring with you in the, pour, in the course of your pool and open water dives. First thing you're going to need to do, or need to own, is a mask. Masks will run you somewhere between 50 and $125. You can spend more. You may need to spend more. But $50 to $125 is a good entry-level mask. And uh, this is your window into the underwater world. If this doesn't fit comfortably, if it obscures your, obst obstructs your vision and, and bothers you, you're not going to enjoy yourself. So you want to visit your local dive store and have them help you pick out a good mask. You know, the other thing that you're going to need to purchase is a snorkel. You know, the snorkel is very helpful for when you're at the surface of the water. Maybe you're waiting on a buddy or maybe you need to swim a short distance from one place to another and it's at the surface and you don't want to use the air on your back. The snorkel helps you get a breath full of air without the waves and water getting in your way. Very helpful. You know, another piece of gear that you may, that you'll probably need to purchase are fins. Let me go back just a quick step. Snorkel should cost you somewhere between $20 and $75. The fins, on the other hand, they're a bit more expensive. Fins will run you somewhere between $100 and $250, depending on what pair you choose to buy. These help propel you through the water quicker and with less energy. Very good to have. You know, that's the gear that you are probably going to need to buy to get your open water certification. And if you add that up with the classroom stuff, you're looking at somewhere between now, somewhere around $750 to get open water certified. You know, 
you spend that money and then all of a sudden you got this new world ahead of you. A new world of adventure and excitement, of, of recreation and, and laughter and friendships. And uh, it's a good deal. It really is. So I hope this helps and uh, dive safe.